Right, you join us at the rear end of our Defender and we are going to try two new products we've ordered from Britpart, which are, I, I don't quite get it yet, but hopefully during the course of the video, I will have a road to Damascus moment and fully understand the product. But basically, it's this sort of cradle. We'll unwrap it, we'll unbox it with you guys. And apparently it's going to sort of fit under here and it's going to aid getting the spare wheel on to the sort of prongs on your spare wheel holder. And we've done it a few times, haven't we, Destiny? And it is a pickle. Um, so we'll have a go. Now, there are two versions of this design. I don't know how it works with different size wheels and tires because if my wheels rest in there, is it gonna be at the right level for the three prongs? Don't know, we will see. We've got an 18 inch on there at the moment, but we'll get the 20s. We've got a right old selection of wheels, so we'll try it. And then you get the deluxe, go large or go home version, which gives you a spare wheel cradle to help you lift your spare wheel. And it also gives you a high lift jack holder but i can't find my high lift jack so we can't test that fully but we'll put it on and show you how it goes now i've ordered these some brit part um but they came in a safety devices now they used to make roll cages and stuff didn't they back in the day don't know what they do now safety stuff i guess um so we're gonna have a look at all the fitting kits and stuff should we start with the the easy one the hopefully this is the and it's got some sort of weird wrap in. It's like a sort of bandage wrap of cling filmness on it. Right, I'll, un I'll unwrap this. You don't want to watch me unwrap this. Right, so we got, a, they they've done a, someone's job in the factory is to wind this round all day. Goodness me. That's, all right, so we've got a black powder coated bar. Oh, I'm gonna have RSI at the end of this. I'm sure there's better ways of wrapping it than this. Single-use plastics, we don't like those, do we? Right, there you go, there it is, there it is. So it's got two holes. We can see these two holes here. There's bits of tube with end caps. So that must go on. We've got some little plastic end caps in here. It's powder coated. It's got the end caps fitted in all the ends. Right, so let's have a look where that bolts on and what bolts we get with it. So here we go, we got some was it got, did it get any instructions? Let me have a look. Do we read instructions? Is there something in here, look? Fitting instructions, we've got instructions, Destiny. Hidden, hidden in some mysterious package that I can't even get into. Let me get a knife. Right, I've got a knife. We have some, and indeed, look, it's all branded safety devices. L307, what's an L307, Destiny? Or is that their part number? That's confusing, isn't it? I thought it was an L663, which is Land Rover's part number. I think they may be using L part numbers as well. There you go, there's a drawing of it, look. And there's a drawing of the other bit. Okay, so we've got that. I've got no idea what that bracket is. Got any idea what that bracket is? Hmm. No. Upper mounting bracket and backing plate. That might be for that other one. Yes, that's that other one. Okay, so it's a sort of all-in-one instruction sheet. Right. Oh wait, what bag have you opened? Just what now? bag? I've opened that bag. That's the yeah, that's the that's correct. the correct one for this. I think, I think it's anyway. We've got instruction jeopardy. Right. Let me get let me get in here. So I'm open. We got. Right. We got some. Blimey. It's like past the parcel. Right. We go. So we have got. Bam, 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 bam. Oh no, I'm throwing the washers around. Right, so we have got two rubber bungs, which I guess are gonna go over here. We have got two flat washers and two spring washers. So I guess you're gonna go spring washer, flat washer, right? And then obviously the spring washer is anti-vibration and those other ones, are, they're all stainless steel, they all look nice. And I guess that's gonna go through there and bolt into something. So we've obviously got to find the bit on the back door where it goes on to. So, whoosh, whoosh. right and ah, right and. Right and. Right, so there's that. Right, so it must, right, let's have a look. 
think it uses those bottom bolts. You reckon it uses the bottom bolts, do you? Yeah. I reckon you're probably right. Yeah, it lines up with those two, doesn't it? So these are easy in that we can get those off from the back here. So let me get the socket on those. Right, let's go. Boom, boom. All right. Right, so have a look, Destiny, while I undo the other one. Is that one longer or shorter than the ones they give us? Longer. Longer. So surprising. why would I be fitting, why would I fit shorter bolts? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fit the original ones back. And they're still about the same width. Well, that one's a little <laughs> bit slimmer. I don't know if that will fit through the hole. And we'll, we'll have a look, but yeah, let's go head to head. Yeah, they are. And these have got the nice little lead-in location bits. I don't, I don't know why they give you shorter bolts. For what? They should be like the thickness of that bit longer. Right, let's have a look. Do the washers fit in? Oh, hold on. What's in there? Oh, was that for me messing around before? Yeah. Let's have a look. Do they go in there? Ah, oh, that might be something to do with why they give you different... Shh. Why are they shorter, though? Don't know. All right. All right, if I... Ah, and you can't take that washer off. They're like... Like cap TV washers. So I think they probably want it to be longer though, but we'll have a look. Right. We make it up as we go along. Now, obviously you're not gonna take all of this off. So this is additional. Right, so let's have a look. Why am I gonna get a socket in there? I'm gonna have to have, a, have the world's slimmest socket and I let's have a look if a standard see because the diameter of the tube I'm a bit pooped let's have a look right yeah the socket will fit over it just so there we go I'm panicking okay now, the only trouble is look I've got to I've got to push on the maybe my my deep reach socket was a bad idea Ah, there we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. All right. Put the second one in. Yeah. If, actually, yeah. It's, it's not so deep reed as you think. There you go. Right. It's clearing our rear bumper step. That's a good. That's a good. Because obviously we've got the super rear bumper step on here, which sits up higher than it would normally. So it's good to check it's compatible with our other products. Right then. Right. Right. We'll check if they give us a, a torque setting for those. I have just read the instructions and they make a big ordeal about installing washers the right, the correct way around. And I thought a washer would be fairly easy, but apparently not. So apparently when they're pressed, the, the press tool comes in and punches down and gives you a rounded surface on the top and a slightly sharper edge on the bottom. And apparently that sharper edge could damage the powder coating in your warranty claim. Well, we void. Yeah, I think they're overthinking this. But anyway, we will go along with them. You've been warned. Right, so I'm going to feel this and one side is indeed slightly more rounded than the other. Um, it also says to fully apply grease to the bolts. So we did just check they are stainless steel. Right, I've got to put this back in. Now, it handily gives you the torque. Now, these are M10 bolts and it gives you a table. I'll put it on the screen. But I couldn't see any torque units, which is kind of odd. So we're, enjoy we're enjoying this. We're only teasing you safety devices. Don't get all upset and emotional. Um, what if you laser cut washers? It, instead of punching them, would laser cut washers be smoother on each side? Or could you tumble deburr washers so that your warranty claims would always be valid? Right, we've got some little ones of these. They're going to pop in. Ooh, Ooh they're going to be hard, Destiny. Oh, my giddy on. Sh poops! Blimey, they're pretty fierce plastic. How am I ever going to get them out? We're supposed to be selling this. Shall I leave those off? I'll let you enjoy your, have a fun time smashing those in. 
Right. What, what, what next? Right, should we try a wheel on there, Destiny? Mm. So I show off my, flex my muscles, shall I? Now, I'll tell you what. Mr. Cobb gave me a trick the other day, didn't he, Destiny, about how to, how to lift the spare wheel up. Do you remember it? Up your leg. Up your leg. That's it. So apparently you, you get it here and you, you rotate a wheel. <gasps> Ooh. It sort of worked. Up your leg. Now, so let's have a look. So we're, we're going on the spare wheel holder. Right, let's get it with the, oh, the single wheel at the top. Right, and, uh, right, we're, right, we're way off the, we're way off the thingies. I mean, I admit it, it gives it a staging point, but we're we're way off there with the 18 inches, aren't we? And then I've got, uh, but I, I get the point. I don't think it's going to change my life. Um, there it is. It's on there. You could hang a bag on it. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me just tighten the wheel nuts up. There we go, we're all bolted up. Okay, there's only two bolts, but you get what I mean. Um, so we have got a little bit of clearance. We've got sort of clearance under here. So it is, it is sort of there, isn't it? Um, it gives you a little bit. It's got clearance, come around the side, Destiny. It's got clearance. It's got clearance even on my spare wheel cover. But what if you had some gangster 22s? Would they fit on there, do you reckon, Destiny? No, we haven't got any gangster 22s with tyres on, have we? No. No. What's the biggest one we've got with tyres on? 20s. 20s. We'll just, we'll just try a 20 on here just for, just for the banter. Right, there we go. We've got the 20-inch. Twi the so we'll try that on. We were just talking there off, off camera. And I was saying, why they just didn't give you the torque figure for the one bolt you've used? But I guess it's like a quiz, isn't it? You've got to look it up on a table and work it out. All good fun. Right, here we go. Here we go. Onto my staging post. There we go. Right, let's have a look. How does it, does it line it up for me on the, it's, it's low on the 20, it's low on the 20s as well, isn't it? So maybe, it, maybe it's designed for, but it does, it does hold it there while well, you just nudge it up. It does, it, it does add a, a degree of elegance, I suppose. Um, right, so there we go. I'll just tighten, let me tighten the nuts on that. Right, there we go. And we've still got plenty of clearance here. Yeah, so it's all looking okay. Right, now let's get on with the mother of all monsters, and that's the bigger one. So, um, yeah, we'll put it in this video. Right, so here is the high lift jacked version. So obviously you can see we've got the standard cradle and then it goes on to give you a platform and a mounting bit for putting your high lift jack. So let's just offer this up quickly. Boop, boop, boop. Let's put that there. So it's gonna line up with the bottom two bolts and these two bolts. And it's gonna sit like that, okay? So it doesn't get in the way of the lights and it's gonna give you this here. So obviously you're gonna add quite a bit of weight to the back door. Now the good thing about the design is the majority of the weight is closer to the hinge. But having said that, we need to look what this bracket is for here. Um, the weight is all applied here, but it is closer to the hinge, which, which will help. Right, so let's have a look at the fitting kit. I was just looking at the welding. We'll do a little product assessment of the welding. I didn't think this was the prettiest bit of welding here. Looks like he sort of went a wobble there, but the rest of it all looks pretty good. We've got the, the plates on the back there. That all looks okay. Right, let's get and have a look what we've got in the fitting kit. Right, so these come with the same instructions. So they're sort of pseudo generic instructions. But interestingly, let's have a look at, it, it gives me the, so you, for all the bolts, let's have a look. So these are M10, they're M10. These are M8, so you'll have to do those, and they're M12, so we'll have to do those to a different torque. So let's have a look what we've got in the bag of delights. We've got a plate with some captive nuts. We've got a bag of... Bag of stainless steel fitting. We've got some threaded, some bars with some threaded holes. We got some sponge plates. We got some plastic caps. We got four, four long bolts. Are they all the same? Looks like it. Oh, long bolts. And then we've got a series of 
smaller ones. Are they all the same or are they they're slightly different, aren't they? Look. Mm. Yeah, you've got some slightly shorter ones and some slightly careful with that. That's going to cause mayhem. All right, and oh, look, hold on, I've got one all on its own there. And how many have I got there? I've got, I'm going to say, three of the longer ones. And oh, no. Is he a longer one? Four longer ones, four shorter ones. We got two different sizes of nylock nuts. Right, so hopefully that's, that's everything we should have. Right, so when we fitted the, the cradle on its own, these two bolts are easy because they come out from the outside. But this top bolt is also easy, it comes from the outside. But Land Rover made it so that no one could walk up and steal your spare wheel carrier because you had to get to the inside. So this is a captive stud that runs through to the interior and there's a nut on the inside. So what we've now got to do is remove the door card, okay? Then we've got to undo the nut and they say undo it so it's just past the end of the thread. And then we've got to tap on the end of it and drift out this captive stud from this casing. So let's have a go and see how difficult that is. Right, so to remove this inner panel, you've got to undo all these torques. What are they? Torx T30 I've got here. Do, 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 do. And then there's a sneaky one hidden in the top. On some, there's a rubber mat. On this one, there's a rubber bung. But don't forget him, and you've got to lift that out. So let me just rattle these off quick. Right, all the screws are the same. Oh no, in the instructions, it says in red light letters, only use hand tools, no power tools. Shh, don't tell safety devices. I'll be in so much trouble. Right, there you go. Whoop that out. Now it's on clips, it pulls directly this way. Right, I can grab it, can I grab it there or not really? Because that bar doesn't, don't grab on that metal bar there, you have to grab just the plastic. Okay, right, you should have no wires unless you fitted any of our gadgets. Right, then. right, so where's these, where's these nuts? So this is this, so they're saying we need to pull this so it just protects the end of the thread and then we've got to knock it and try and drift out that thing. So let's have a look what size that is. Back on the hand tools, I haven't noticed. Right. Now, um, you'll notice that, you know, we took the two bottom bolts out. They come through here. Now there is actually a sneaky third bolt hidden under that rubber stop. Because what I'm worried about is, as I hammer this, the only thing I'm reacting against is this bolt here and this bolt here. Um, to the extent that it may be worth leaving those bottom two in so I've got more to react against. But let's see how much knocking this takes to get off, shall we? Have a little tap and if we get a bit more brutal, I'll use a bit of wood as well. Oh, is he moving? I don't know. I'm gonna go with a bit of wood. Destiny. What do you reckon? Keep going? No. Mm. Oh. It'd be oh, right it's if gone. It was on no. no, I know. We got to sell this. This is, yeah. We got to sell this, this one. A, I hate I no one's him. watching. What do you reckon? Can you put a little tap in there? He ain't moving for toffee, is he? A bigger hammer. It's a bit scary. Um, all right, let's have a go. Um, so the instructions just say, using a suitable drift and a hammer. Drift it out. Um, let's have a go. All right, should I open the door fully? That might, might do. Oh, it's moved. It's moved. It's moved. It's moved, wow. It does go, it does go. Trust, wrong size hammer, clearly. Right then, so so now we've got a, so now you're, you're in that trap now, where can we undo the nut? We got, we got, a, we got to push it back this way to get the captive nut. There we go, we're all right, we're all right, all right. Right, so let's have a look what these, you want to 
whoop that out there, Sunny, see if you can. Don't know, I'll get my fingers ah. out. Oh, there we go. There you go. So how's that though? So we've got, have we got some splines there or how was it attached originally? Or was it, was it hexagonal? So yeah. Yeah. So it's just sort of hexagonal pressed into, into there. Hold on, into there even. Yeah, so it's got a sort of, but it, they do come out. It's not impossible. Right, so now we're in a position, the instructions say, to better offer this up. So let's have a quick check. We've got four bolts. Let me have a quick read. Be careful, I've read the instructions. And one of these is five millimeters shorter. This is an M10 by 80, and these are 75s. Now, interestingly, the M10 by 80, if I put it up to the original bolt, it's still shorter than the original bolt. So why don't they just give us four M10 by 80s? And why don't they give you M10 by 80s in that other kit? We will never know. Right, so let's keep going. So the 81, let's get this one in first, because that's the naughty one. Apparently that's the bigger one. Goes in the bottom one of those two, which is the one I think that we've just got that out of. I'm, I'm all worried about putting washers on the wrong way now. I spent my life putting washers on the wrong way. Do you know that, Destiny? Go for that one. Go for that one. You're not wrong. Right, hold on. Roundy side, sharper side, roundy side towards the powder coat. Right. So let's have a look. We can get that in here. That in, what did I say, the lower one? <laughs> right. Okay, right. Now, of course, that's got nothing to go to on the back, has it? Because that's just going to go through, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. How am I going to do this without scratching my car? Is it coming through yet? No. You got it? It's just poking its head, but it's not made it all the way through. Really? It's still very Is flush. it too short? Oh. It doesn't go in further in the hole, does it? I know, I made a mistake. This is my bad this time. Because we left that, we've got to take that top bolt out, Destiny. All right, let's take that top one out. But yeah, you really want to leave this one in while you're pushing that one because it will react the force. But there we go, right then. All right, let's try again, here it goes. Woo. You should go in closer now. All right, hold on, down there. Yeah. Yeah, we got some we got some clearance now, right? Yeah. Right, okay, well that stay there on its own. It will. They only give you three M10 spring washers, which are anti-loss, anti-vibration. You don't need one on here, on this one here, because we've got a nylock on the inside. So they're reserved for the other three, the top one and the bottom two. Washer is gonna go on here, but it's not spreading the load a lot there, is it? That's considering the size of that hole and the size of the washer on the original one and the weight on there, I'm not sure that's big enough. Let's have a look. Right, so this is the nut with its sort of integral washer that I took out and that is the washer they give you. So I think that's too small. So I'm gonna rustle around. Look, at our, look, look we've got a lucky washer's drawer, look. Comes in handy every time, look. So we'll have a rummage in here and see what we can find. Right, we've got, look at that, the lucky washer drawer comes into its own. I'm gonna put two washers on. Can never have too many washers. Um, right, ooh. Now Destiny said, why don't you reuse the original nut? And I said it was the wrong size, but it's not, because I picked up the wrong one. I'm gonna go with Destiny's idea. 10 marks, Destiny. Right, let's use, let's reuse that one, because then we've got the OE spreading the forces, and it's also got that that's a really nice nut, actually. So, right, let's go there. Let's forget your lucky washer drawer. Right. One thing Destiny noticed is this is getting really close to the door down here. So I'm just going to put a rag over that just to watch we don't do any damage. Right, I've put a 17 mil spanner on the other side. Now, I reckon my arms are long enough. I reckon I might be able to do, do this. Right, here we go. We got this.
Right, I won't go too tight. Is that not, that's coming through though, see? So that's fine, that's good. Right, let's get the other ones in before we do it too tight. Right, so that's the top one going in. Remember, you've got to put your spring washer and your flat washer in there. All right, so let's give that one a tighten. Right, I'll get that other, those other two in, check they all line up nicely, and then I'll come join you again. They're all tight and there is plenty of clearance. So let's just have a look how we're looking on that. So yeah, we've got plenty of clearance here and even, oh, it's close on our bumper cover, isn't it? Now, bear in mind, we have got the extended bumper cover on here, so that will have plenty of clearance on a normal car. But that does, let me just check that does have clearance. There we go, we'll do the old fag packet test, look. So that has got clearance, but Destiny is right. Yeah, I'll stand on it. That'll be a good test anyway. I'll stand on here and you see if it drops at all and whether you can still get the paper in without obstruction. Right, um, so there you go, it does give you a good... Yeah, does that move? Ooh. It's close. It's tight, you can't it's get the tight, can't get out. it. It won't do three pieces of paper. No. Can't get the staple through. Okay, but that, that feels pretty secure. Well, there's a little bit of flex there. Look, that's not gonna touch your car body in any way, is it? That bit there has still got plenty of clearance. Right, so there we go. It'd be, it'd be handier to be a ladder, really, wouldn't it? If you put the cradle there and had a ladder going up the side, that was my idea first. Right, okay, so ju -ju -ju -ju, what have we got to do next? Oh, we've got all sorts of bits to finish off. So now we get to this, this bit is a jack support and it goes on here and we've got to get this plate in. It's not impossible, but I might get a bit more. We can go, we've got enough room, we've got enough room. Yeah, it might be easier to do it before you put it on. Um, that goes there, and then we've got the M6 by 20s. Oh, it's always a bit of a, it's a bit of a kerfuffle. If you've got fat fingers, you're going to struggle. Right, and then can you pass me these? Now, do we put any washers on those? Oh, let's check. So this plate is going to go on like this. Now, one thing I've noticed, again, I'm being picky, but I like being picky. You see they've written L307. Can you see that on the camera? They've written it in the laser, which is clever. But when you fit it, it's upside down, which is weird and they could have put it on the back face. Maybe, who knows? I'm sure people are critical about our products, but that's fine. It's the opportunity to improve, isn't it, Destiny? <laughs> Destiny's keeping quiet. She's being, yeah. yeah. You don't like confrontation, do you, Destiny? Right, and here we go. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I've got three bits I've got to line up here. And my fingers ain't that, ain't got that much movement. Okay, let's see if I can line these up. I don't know why they didn't put captive nuts on the back of that plate for me. Why well, I have to hold another plate on the back here. I could save safety devices some money. They don't have to fit that nut in that kit because you can use the original. Do you think when they have one of those like employee contribution schemes where you can have a percentage of the money saved? Oh, here we go, right, one, two, three. Right, and then you have to play the, oh, my fingers are stuck. Oh, they actually got, hold on. Right, um. right, yeah, so we'll tighten those up. Right, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. So then we've got the shorter bolts. Now these go on to, so these form little end stops. So these just come up from underneath here. Okay, and they screw in there, and they threw, they form a little end stop. Okay, um, that's those four. Now, where do those nut covers go? Do you reckon, Destiny? Oh yeah. So that's you those. You only get two of them. We only get two of those. Where do you reckon they go? Oh no, Destiny! We got a disaster. You know how close this was. Mm. One of these has got to go up under there. Look, it's got to go up under there, and that's going to give. It sits right where my bumper cover is. So we're only going to be able to hold those on with two. Hmm. Hmm. Um, won't be a problem for you unless you've got our turbo bumper cover. Um, goodness me. It'd be better if that was a plate and the two would have, if that was a square plate there, mm. they could have just done that with two of them. Or they could have bent up this, they could have laser cut and bent it up internally so you didn't have to put these two plates on at all. Um, Right, so you'll do that. 
careful if you've got the bumper cover. Um, and then you, you just spread these out here apparently to give you a little soft landing to stop your high lift jack wobbling. Right, what else? So where do these covers go, do you reckon, Destiny? It doesn't say on there. It doesn't say. Let me have a look. Ah, nut covers. Two nut covers go on. Ah, is it is this? Ah, is this the M12? So do we put some bolt through here? So it says there's a, it says it's the M12 by 55, two washers, a nylock nut, and a cover, and the two covers. So I guess, does that bolt through your, does that bolt through your high lift jack? Maybe, is that what, if only we could find it. And then you put those on over the uh, cover there and over there and it covers over and that bolts your high lift jack apparently. Right, so what bolts, have, so we have only got left over, all good, which is those two where we opted to use the better Land Rover flange nut from the inside. It's the same. Right, there we go, summary. So all looks good. Um, the mounting points are obviously secure. All the bolts line up really well. Oh, did I show you there was a chip on this? Look, we've got a chip on the powder coating there, which is, is worrying. Um, powder coating doesn't like sharp corners. You see these sharp corners here? If they were more radius, you'd have more chance of the powder coating surviving. Right, um, generally it's good. If I can't think of a better solution if you want to go around with a high lift jack than this, I've got to be honest, but I would like to see a, a ladder up here because if you imagine you had those hoops there, another one there, another one there, that would be, that would be really cool, wouldn't it? Because you could, you could quite easily get up with another step or two and we'd be there. Right, hope, I enjoy, hope you enjoy that and you have some, helps you have some Land Rover Defender adventures. Well, did we get the plastic? Ah, no. Um, so there's supposed to be some plastic end caps, but they were missing from this kit, but we've written to Britpart and they are going to send us the missing bits. Um, there we go, enough.